Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. You can insert and delete merge fields in your mail merge documents as the need arises. This can occur if you have fields in your document that no longer contain relevant data, or if you collect new data that needs to be included in the document. To remove a merge field from your document, select the entire merge field that you want to delete, including all associated chevrons. Next, press the delete key on your keyboard. Now inserting new merge fields is nearly as easy as deleting them. First place your cursor at the point in the document where you would like the new merge fields to appear. Then click the Insert Merge Field button that appears in the Write and Insert Fields group on the Mailings tab in the ribbon. Then select the name of the field that you want to insert into your document from the Buttons drop down list of field names. If you are performing a simple mailing and are using a data source with address information, you may prefer to use an address block or greeting line that is created by Word. This just speeds up the placement of multiple merge fields in a document. However, for this feature to work effectively, you should ensure that the field names in your data source are matched to the fields available in Word. If you use the data source provided by Word, then this will definitely be the case. However, if using an external data source, such as a list in an Excel spreadsheet, then you may need to first match the field names in Word to the field names in your list before you can effectively use either the address block or greeting line buttons in the Write and Insert Fields group that appear in the Mailings tab in the ribbon. Now to match the fields in your data source with Word, just click the Match Fields button that appears in the Write and Insert Fields group. This will open the Match Fields dialog box. Here you can identify which field in your data source matches each piece of information that Word may need by selecting the name of the data source field from the drop-down menu for each type of data shown. If the field is unavailable, simply leave it at Not Matched. Once you've matched the data source in Word, you can then click the OK button to set it. Now if you've matched your data fields to Word, or if you're simply using the default list provided when you created a data source in Word, then you can click the Address Block button in the Write and Insert Fields group on the Mailings tab in the ribbon to open the Insert Address Block dialog box. Here you can check which elements you want to include in the Address Block by checking or clearing the checkboxes in the Specify Address Elements section. Once you're finished, you can then click the OK button to insert the address block. Likewise, you can click the greeting line button in the Write and Insert Fields group on the Mailings tab in the ribbon in order to open the Insert Greeting Line dialog box. In this dialog box, you can use the drop-down buttons that are available to set the appearance of the greeting line field for your document. You can also set what to insert into the greeting line field if the record that you are merging doesn't have a valid recipient name. Once you're done, just click the OK button to insert a standard greeting line into your merge document. Once you've inserted mail merge fields into your document, you may want them to appear highlighted so that you can see them more easily. If you wish to turn field highlighting on or off, just click the Highlight Merge Fields button that appears in the Write and Insert Merge Fields group on the Mailings tab in the ribbon in order to turn field highlighting on and off.
Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.